Hi and welcome to another video by Test Automation TV. I am Naeem Akram Malik and in today's video I am going to show you how you can use if else conditions in Securely X. I have opened Securely X IDE on the screen and the goal of today's video is to click the volume button right here and if the volume is unmute we are going to mute it and if the volume is mute we are going to unmute it so if it is unmute we are going to mute and if it is mute we are going to unmute it is a toggle function basically so in order to do that we will need to use the if else condition so the first thing which we need to do is we need to click the volume button so I will select the click operation here and by the way those are some logo samples which I was looking up on this website Taylor Brands this is a non-sponsored thing um, I, I was thinking to create a proper logo for the YouTube channel so first of all we are going to click the volume button on the toolbar in bottom and then I'm sorry this is not toolbar this is the tray and once we click the button then we are going to type if and then we are going to give a space and we will say exists and to the exist method we are going to supply this icon I click here on the volume uh, control and I press control shift 2 just like that there we go if this exists and a colon and enter click what do we want to click open it again click here and then control shift 2 in that case we want to click this but hold on for a second there is an easier way to do the same thing I have typed click and a left bracket and then I can simply go and copy the existing image how did I do it I go here right after the image I press shift left then I press copy control C and now after the left bracket in the click I press control V and I need to add another right bracket over here that is it and let us suppose I run this mm -hmm. alright so this has happened now we can see that we have volume muted so with every if there comes an else condition since I have several viewers from India and Pakistan so I would explain a, a small thing in do in Hindi as well you know the word if means agar so this says that agar mil jaye ye wala button if exists ye wala graphic if this graphic exists on the screen to click on this graphic you can translate this colon into then but then with every agar there is a magar with every if there is an else so here we have the magar part or the else part else right in fact we are going to use elif elif is another keyword exists left bracket what this mute icon all right so i will click on the volume control again and press control shift 2 and now we can just simply select it this right bracket colon enter now copy the image again and i say click now you a copy let me copy again copy paste and this all right but then there can be a condition which is true 
other than all these two conditions like for example if we try to run this script on windows 10 for example then this icon uh, will not be there or the icon will look different else we can simply say that and we can say print volume icon not found I want you to notice one thing which is very important and that one thing is the indentation. The indentation is very important in Python and Jython. In Python, Jython, there is no parenthesis which uh, basically tells us about the starting and ending of a block. Everything is done through indentation. Like for example, we have this if condition and under this if condition all the body of this if condition the statements which are supposed to be executed as a result of this if condition are indented there is one tab difference right so we have one tab behind every statement which comes after the if condition which should be executed as a result of this if condition so this indentation is very important and same goes for the elif and same goes for the else so uh, be uh, be very careful with the indentation when you are programming in python or jython all right so this was it for this tutorial i hope you understood how we can use if condition to handle various scenarios please feel free to reach out please feel free to ask questions if you have any if you have any suggestions please give them to me i am going to create videos based on your suggestions as well Please remember I post new automation videos every Thursday. I try my level best to post a new automation video every Thursday. So if you want to get more automation videos, just subscribe to me.